Hi everyone, this is Brian Neal with TradeBeFree.com and InvestBeFree.com and today I want to show you what's working right now really well in the market. Uh, we recently saw a bearish market signal about a week or so ago and usually after you get that signal what will happen is that the market will attempt to rally again and then oftentimes it'll turn over and go into a new downtrend. Now sometimes this downtrend can be uh, can go down just a few percent, sometimes it'll be a, a lot uh, larger downtrend than that. So that's still an open question right now. We're following the market closely to see how this uh, uh, this trend develops. But um, at the time you get that bearish market signal, we start looking at short sell ups, short setups, because that that uh, rally that occurs, the next rally occurs, often fails after that bearish signal, and you often are left with some really good short setups. And today I want to talk to you about a couple of them that are working really well right now. The first one I want to show you is uh, a stock with a good, a good catalyst. Catalyst. This is First NBC Bank Holding Corp, uh, FNBC. And there's some stories out recently about this stock potentially being delisted. And the status of the bank was changed recently to be more restrictive as far as how they operate their bank and what they can and can't do. Okay, so um, this bank is looking at a... Um, you know, lower earnings and lower sales revenue numbers in the future. So this was coming out and the stock on the news, on one of those news items came down very hard here in, um, you know, what was this, October 20th. This was last Thursday in our daily alert newsletter. So this first trade I want to show you is an example of a follow-on move. And what a follow-on move is basically when a stock moves strongly in either direction on one day, okay, the next day it often goes in the same direction and makes a secondary move. Okay, and this can be the secondary move and pattern setup can be seen better on a, on a five minute chart or 10 minute chart within the market day. Uh, but I'm gonna focus more on the uh, daily chart here. And this is FNBC and, and uh, you know, like I said, we were looking for good shorts because we had the bearish signal. We don't normally go short or look for shorts until the market has delivered that signal. And we find that after you see that signal, these shorts often work a lot better. So what this pattern really is, is, you know, the, the very strong move the first day. In this case, the stock moved over 19% on a catalyst. Okay. Now, the next day, what we want to look for is either a bearish pattern on a five-minute chart, or we want to look for uh, just a breaking of the lows the next day. Okay, and that was our target entry point. And we said that, you know, the, the first target to cover the short would be $8.10. So we were looking for, you know, close to a 10% move. And then the final um, final target was $5, as can be seen can be seen here on the uh, in the newsletter when it was featured. But when you click the chart on the site, you can see the latest chart come up. And we can see that after... It was featured, it broke that low the next day and then really fell apart. And you can see that here back in March of this year, it had a similar day where it had a very strong pullback, okay, that day. And then the next day, it broke that low and then really fell apart more than 10% again, okay. And so that follow on move is often a very good trading setup, and especially when you play play these setups with the overall market direction. So in this case, we're playing a short because of the bearish signal in the overall market. And, you know, we felt there's a good chance the market could fall down or pull back further. And um, we can see that the stock, you know, quickly made that move of actually 20% the next day. It actually reached our target in three days. Okay. So those type of setups right now on a catalyst are working really well. So you want to keep your eyes out for those. Um, this was a stock that had really bearish fundamentals, and that's why we chose it for our newsletter. Uh, I want to show you another example of a short recently here. This is, uh, I think, Hornbeck Offshore. It's a uh, basically oil, oil services company. And we can see in this case that the stock uh, made a rebound within, again, a long-term downtrend. Okay, The market's starting to turn over a little bit. You have the bearish signal in the overall market. And you've got this, this rally here in early October that's turning over and pulling back. And if we actually put the longer term, let me go ahead and make this smaller so we can fit, fit inside the, the video here. And we'll shorten the time frame. 
And um, you can see that the stock went to the top of the Bollinger Band, okay, hung out there for a few days, but then had a bearish candlestick pattern and then started closing below the 20-day uh, moving average or 20 EMA, uh, which is the exponential moving average, okay? And that's a good sign that this is about to turn over and come back and test these lows. And so our, our entry point was a move below this this recent low here. This is a um, you know a lower high followed by a lower low, okay? And that signifies that the trend is now changing back to the downside. Okay, so we said to short it on a move below 550, and it too, from that point down to the support level, you know, made that trip within three or four days, and that's, you know, 20% again. Um, well, the other stock moved over 40% within three or four days. This stock moved 20%, so that's 20% profit within a few days, okay? So that's really working real right, well right now, these really good short trading setups, in those long-term downtrends, okay? And I just want to point that out to you. And another thing that's working right now, too, I wanted to talk about is uh, some of these these stocks with very strong earnings beats. I'm going to go ahead and pull up one that I traded this morning, uh, Cirrus Logic. Um, and I'm going to go to a five-minute chart. And, uh, okay, one of the things that we, one, one of the trading steps that we play when day trading is these stocks that are making really big uh, post stocks posting really big earnings beats, and what we do is we wait for the first what we call the first red and green move, and what that means is that you know the first candle to make a higher high, we go ahead and jump in and ride that up to the next resistance or so, okay, or until the the five minute candle is broken, which occurred here. Um, you know, taking some off at about a two percent profit. So that's often a very good high percentage trade. And we can see with Cirrus here that it, it made a you know two percent move for us. And I think we got out with a a one and a half percent, one point five percent profit on that. Another stock I want to talk to talk to you about is a mining stock that came out with a really big earnings beat today. If we go ahead and look at the the earnings calendar from Zacks, we can see that Stillwater Mining they beat their earnings estimates by eight cents per share. They also beat on the top line. It was a really good, really good earnings report, and I believe the the high uh, pre market was around three or I'm sorry thirteen. 20 or 13.30. Um, anyway, we, we got in at around 13.30, and I think it was just 5, 10 cents above the pre-market high, a little bit late, but um, after it reached that point, it consolidated for a few minutes and then took off and actually made a move um, up here to 13.70, and that was about a you know 2, 3 percent move within uh, a half hour to an hour trading, and that's you know falls within that two to five percent profit that we're looking for in those trades. And I'm going to have a, a video series that explains this technique uh, in more detail. But yeah, you know, it's a really good high percentage trade, especially on stocks with really good earnings beats. And if you're good at looking at the earnings release, uh, studying it quickly, and figuring out whether it's a really strong beat or not and how the stock tends to react to these earnings beats and how the industry, uh, stocks in the same industry are reacting to these earnings beats. And if you're good at knowing where the next levels of resist resistance are and find a situation where you have enough uh, distance between the, where the stock reaches the entry point and the next resistance level, knowing whether there's a good profit potential or not in that trade, if you're good at analyzing all that quickly in the morning, uh, these trades often, very often, do well and are pretty high probability trades and uh, very often uh, result in, in nice profits. And you, know, you can start small and scale up over time with these at, as you get the hang of it. But we're seeing these these trades also work, working really well right now, too. And the companies that are you know, beating estimates by a wide margin that break out of these pre-market ranges 
and have you know the the number of shares and uh, a tight bid ask spread and other factors that tend to make it more likely that it will go up at least a few more percent. So these are working really well, working really well right now, and that's one area that we're focused on. So that's another good uh, place to be right now. But those short setups are doing really well right now as the market sort of runs out of momentum and starts to turn over a bit. I'm going to show you another example here. This stock, you know, had a nice gap between around $26 or just above $26 down here to about $22 and change. And, you know, again, if we click, click the chart, we can see that already the stock has moved from, you know, just above 26 where it reached our entry point and it moved down to nearly $24. So that's almost a 10% move, but 8% move within two days so far. So that's off to a really good start too. And, you know, once we get up four or five percent or so, we like to stop, we'll stop these trades at the entry point, okay, and take some off at five to ten percent, uh, at a five to five to ten percent profit to ensure we make a profit on these. But uh, those trades are working really well also, okay. You can see the stock, you know, came down and hit that $27 area. It came back, we tested it, came back, we tested it again. Each time it's making lower lows, I'm sorry, lower highs. As it's doing that, and it finally broke through, and then fell down from there. Okay, and that was the the setup on that, the technical setup on that, on a stock that has declining estimates and is also missing estimates at the same time. So this may easily come down, retest 24 on Monday. It may rebound for a while, but um, next time it turns over, it, it could come down here and and take out 22. We'll have to watch that. Those type of trading setups are working really well right now. We have three trades now that went anywhere from 20% to, I'm sorry, 10% or close to 10% to 44% uh, just in the past two weeks. So that's a good area and a good type of setup to look for right now. And along with those opening range breakouts out of really good pre-market patterns. And again, I'll have more videos in the future about those patterns so you can learn more about them and how to take advantage of those setups. Okay, well, get over to our site if you want to see these swing trading setups, either long or short. We usually have long setups, but like I said, during the right after a bearish market signal, we start going short and looking for more short setups. Um, we also are finding long setups right now. I mean, we've got one here on Facebook that's starting to do well today, and it's you know experts are saying that. Uh, the earnings report next week is supposed to be really strong for Facebook, so we wouldn't be surprised to see Facebook start charging into the earnings release next week. They've beaten by a wide margin the past few quarters and are probably the, it's probably the top growth stock in the market. So that's a good area to speculate on the long side because it all depends on the earnings report. And if a stock has, a company has a very strong track record of beating by a wide margin each quarter, like Facebook does, then there's a, a better chance they'll do that they'll do it again uh, the next quarter. Okay, and that's this pattern leading into the earnings release is pretty bullish. Okay, so that's a good sign too. So we may see this jump up on earnings next week and jump up here to close to 150 or so, and then probably you know pull back after that. But you know we'll see we'll see how it goes on I think Thursday of next week after the market closes, or maybe Wednesday. I'm not sure which of those. It's either Wednesday or Thursday. But uh, that's one of the long trading setups that we're in as far as swing trading setups on the long side go. So, all right, well, thanks for listening. That's a review of what's going on right now and what's working. You can go to our site, sign up for a three-week free trial of these setups, and what you'll do is you'll get a login access to see all of our top trading setups. You can go in there and find them or have them delivered to you before they make a move. And you can look at the stock and the, and the tentacles and decide whether you want to take part in that trade or not. And, again, be there before, before it's too late. So we also have a, a blog on the site, and that will give you some great tips for trading these, these setups. And also like the video below if you want to see more of these. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want a special offer to join the site, there's a link to that uh, below the video, just click the drop down arrow or the more button and you'll see the, the link there to get a special offer. All right. Thanks again. And we'll talk to you again real soon.